Hello and welcome to another episode of me painting again. Oh yeah, we're painting again. And this time I'm going to be doing this landscape. Let me show you. We've got um, a little bit of uh, rolling hills, some distance, nice sky. The sky's a bit blown out, but we can improve that. As painters, we can improve things. <laughs> so we can improve the uh, blown out sky. Uh, maybe add a little bit of more detail in there. A bit more blues. And uh, But this is just our reference picture. I'll just put that up there. Just so I can look at it. I can read it. <laughs> okay. So... I've just stuck that and it's totally not straight. That's a bit of a... <laughs> oh no, it's gone all lopsided again. Okay. <laughs> oh, that was a bit mad. So let's have a go at this. So we need a biggish brush. We're going to start with the sky. Using, uh, a bit of paper just to wipe the brush. A bit of paper. Oogly doo, oogly doo, oogly doo. Right, let's do a bit of a sketch to start with, I think. I could do with a, like a simple sketch. So, let's use this brush, a little bit of the blue. A little bit of the blue mixed in with the water to make it thin. So we've got a bit of a bit of land that goes along here, about there. It sort of goes up like that. It's there. We've got our path that goes here. And then that kind of goes up. It's about there. Like that. Looking, trying to think of the basic of the shapes. And that, then that comes off like that. Always going with as basic as possible. <laughs> I want it to be as basic as possible. Uh, it just makes it things easier, doesn't it? Not, you can see that. So it goes down like that. And then we've got a bunch of trees. One of those trees, this kind of goes off as well. Like that. Maybe that goes more up there. So we can do this, we can get rid of all the little problems before we've even put any paint on and then we can change it as we go. Something like that and then this is in front of that as well. Something like that. <laughs> yeah, we'll go with that. So we've got some uh, blue. Some ultramarine blue. And some white. Ultramarine blue and white. We'll start putting our blue sky in. We'll use that. Uh, one of the paints is dribbled. <laughs> it's funny because when I when I start a painting, when I really want to get started, things always go wrong, <laughs> and I'm like, oh, just gotta wipe that, gotta do that, gotta start that out. And all I want to do is do a painting. All I want to do is paint. So let's go. Let's start putting this sky in there. Get the blue in here. 
-de -da -de -da. Probably needs to be a bit lighter. Yeah, about there. About there. I quite like that. Nice blue that is. So we'll do that blue along there. I think because my photo's blown out a bit, you can't really see. I think there was blue along here as well. Well, there is now. We can do what we like. <laughs> That's the good thing when you're doing your own painting. You know, do what you like, what you want to do. You don't have to do anything other than what you want to do. And that's good, it's a good feeling. Okay, something like that. Now, we've got to think of our background here. It has also got sort of a blue look to it. Um, so what I might do, just so it's not the same as the blue, I might put a touch of green in it. See that tiny bit of green? That, that, that's uh, Viridian Green. So we've got Burnt Sienna, <laughs> Viridian Green, Sap Green, Ultramarine Blue, Chrome Yellow, Yellow Ochre, uh, Burnt Umber, and Titanium White. But all colours are optional. <laughs> you can do it with different colours. It's all up to you. It's just what I'm using. So let's stop putting in this and this to be quite light light and blue maybe a bit more white in it I think that's a little bit too dark maybe that Might work. We'll we'll see. We'll see how it works. As the painting develops, we'll have to see. Alright, so we've got our blue in, we've got our white in, we've got our distant hills, which do look a bit too it's got a bit more white. See how that just mists it up a bit. Yeah, I like that better. Just mix some of that off. Yeah, that's better. That distance is better. We've got a hill on the other side. We've got a hill here. Um, and that's quite a pale green. I think it's more of a, a sap green. Just throw some sap green in with this. Maybe a bit of burnt sienna. Let's have a look at that. A bit of yellow ochre in it. So I use my uh, photo for reference for the colour. More white in it. It's quite a It needs to be dulled. More the sap green until until we get somewhat close. I'm a tiny bit too dark. This is probably about right. Tiny bit too light now. <laughs> it's that game of colour mixing. The game. You keep um, keep at it. Keep getting better at it. It's a game. That's not bad. It's not bad. It's not exact, but it's pretty close now. So we'll go with it. Uh, so we want our. Ground the background 
hill. Something like finish there. I'm going to throw in a little bit more white just there as well. Quite like that actually. It's got a bit more of a, a yellowy surface on there, so let's just tone that a bit different there and then. In places it's slightly different, so we'll give those slight changes. Yeah, I quite like that. And then uh, we're going a bit darker, so I'm going to throw in a bit of a uh, bit of brown in the mix, a bit more of the sap green. This is a bit darker, so this should work as a uh, area in front. Let's see. It's not too bad actually. Because what we're trying to do <laughs> is fake distance, and uh, this is just a, a way of way of doing that by uh, just going darker as you come forward, really, and then you can add more saturation and whatever saturation, saturation. <laughs> um, let's put a little bit of the brown in there. And then what I want is a bit more of the light, a bit more, a hint of yellow. Going for a bit more white and a bit of a hint of yellow to do the other side. So we've got the other side kind of going across here and then down. And then it kind of into there. Something like that. And there is actually a uh, another layer in between, just a bit more yellow and white in my colour. There's a bit of a area in between here. All the green and brown and stuff, and then so what have we got here? Yeah, that's quite a good start. Now I think I'll go back to the sky. Um, I'll use a filbert brush, I think. Use an old filbert. So we're going to stick in some clouds and then we want to bring things forward a bit, maybe put a few details in. So I'm always thinking what, what I could do next, what I should do next, what's going to make the painting improved, <laughs> what's needed, what's not needed. So a constant thought that goes on. So now I'm thinking the clouds. So I'm making my dark part of the cloud. So I've got some brown, some blue, and some white. And I'll use this sort of grey. It's almost a grey. I think I'll do a grey to the brown. Throw in a bit of burnt sienna. And then I'll use that as my dark side of the cloud. And um, let's have a look at it. It's probably a little bit too dark. So I'll throw some white in it. Yeah, that's better. So 
So I'm just thinking about the uh, cloud formations. Throwing it in. The cloud here. It goes along there. Something like that. Uh, a bit more blue in the colour. A bit more blue and white, and just changing things up a bit. Just feel like it needed cooling down a bit. Cloud here. Things kind of blend away a bit there. <laughs> we don't mind that really because we can change things as we go. So I'll pick up some more of the white in with the uh, in with that bluey, bluey grey. I'm going to start filling in some of the lighter areas. I'm really trying to keep the sky moving. <laughs> I've said that before. Keep the sky moving, keep it going. Keep it going, keep that brush moving. A bit more colour. So I'm holding back a little bit. I'm not going for a bright white. I'm keeping things quite grey and dull. <laughs> and then I can come back and make some changes. Mixing things up here, mixing it up. Just filling that in. A bit more light. See how that bit of light then just brought this back. <laughs> and it and I kind of mixed it a bit so it blends. You don't want a hard edge on that edge because that's a, uh, a softer area, softer area. It's distant, and I uh, just want it to be, want it to feel distant, feel soft and background materially. <laughs> Same with that area really, not too worried if it blends a little bit. Because again that's quite far back. Looking at it, it probably does need lighting a bit. can change things as we go like that. In this area here. I 
And again, I feel this is way too blue. <laughs> so I'm going to uh, knock this back as well. Just sit back, have a look. see the more you put on your canvas the more you start to see things the more paints on there the more of a pardon me <laughs> I had some curry and now I've got the curry burps <laughs> yeah so the more color you put on the more you start to uh, see things and start seeing what kind of changes you want to make um, because there's more paint on there and you can start seeing relationships that's why a lot of painters uh, they they teach you to cover up all the white as soon as you can uh, because that is when you can see everything as a whole as a whole painting so let's cover it up So we can do that. <laughs> okay, just filling it in. That's looking quite good. It's coming on. So I'm going to get another brush. I'm going to get some of the, uh, the brown. Brown and blue. And green. Maybe a little bit of the the stronger green. The more the blue. There we go. More of that. So we want now using this dark. We've got a few trees. Now I want to get the um, the trees off this side done first because they're quite dark. So I'll block this in. Where the trees are. About there. And I'll, um, just put in a few kind of detail. I say detail, not really detail. <laughs> I'm not aiming for any detail yet. I'm aiming for blocking in. Get a bit of the yellow oak to two yellows into my greeny mixture. Bit of the burnt sienna. So this is quite a good colour to start coming forward. It's quite dark. Probably a bit too dark, a bit of yellow in it. So we're coming forward now. This one comes up there. So I'll scrub this in. That goes down to there. Soften that line there so it's not too strong. And that goes down. I'm going to get a little bit of white in my mixture and just paint this bit in here. Yeah, actually, while I'm doing that. I want to bring some of this back. Let's bring that back there. And this as well. Just because I kind of lost that a little bit. And this actually goes. There, 
Да. Да, ладно. Окей, let's move this across down here. Scrubbing it on. I think I've said before, the reason you uh, scrub it on is so you've got, you haven't got too much paint on there and then you can manipulate it a bit more. Because then you can, you can come in with your brush strokes and, and really start uh, making the painting come to life. It's a good way to get started. So now we've got that in. Now what I want to do is start a sort of a triangular shape there. So grab some of that yellow. Grab some of the yellow there. Our mixture. Greens. Scrub in a bit of that there. As you see, I'm not using um, the green straight out of the tube. I always mix it with a bit of brown or a bit of blue or a bit of yellow. Because the green out of the tube is just too strong. And uh, It's a good idea. To mix. <laughs> and I say that, um, and I kind of laughed to myself a bit because I didn't used to mix colours. <laughs> I used to use colours straight out of the tube a lot of times. And uh, you don't have the same control over them. So it's kind of funny really, I used to do that. But when you're a beginner, no one, you don't, you don't know, do you? You don't know what to do. You've got to learn somewhere. And uh, one thing I do learn from is my mistakes. <laughs> so I'm gonna pick up a bit of yellow ochre. Just throw that in, because it's got like a yellowy color along here. So I'll put that in there. So we're, we're getting the canvas filled. We're getting the canvas filled. That's the goal. Fill it up and then uh, once it's full we can look at the whole painting and work on the whole painting. Which is going to be a real challenge for me when I do my large painting. <laughs> But we'll talk about that on another episode. Just filling that in. Scrubbing it in. This is a, uh, a homemade canvas. <laughs> I didn't quite do it as tight as I should have done, but... Hey, saved some money. <laughs> I uh, kept a lot of my paintings and uh, if I don't like them after a while if I think mm, that's not that good <laughs> or I can't really afford to buy a new canvas so I'll uh, rip off my old canvas and use it again use the stretcher again Put some more canvas on it. So 
I've got a big roll of canvas and I just use that. Stretch it on and you uh, away again. Take the old painting off, chuck it in the bin. <laughs> and you're practicing again. Sounds a bit brutal, doesn't it? That you're uh, destroying an old painting. But if it's one that you did a long time ago and you've progressed since that way of painting, then what's the point in keeping it? And you might as well use it to improve. <laughs> Right, so we've got all the canvas filled. Ah, all filled with colour, that's a good feeling. Because now I can do the fun stuff. So we've got a good base. It all looks about right. There's little changes I can see that I need to make. And uh, things that I can improve on. I'm just going to wipe this brush. And wipe this brush so I can start putting some lighter clouds in. And wipe the blue off it. <laughs> Just wipe it. Okay. is on the brush so what I'm thinking by the way there was still blue on the brush so it's not pure white <laughs> yeah so what I'm thinking is if I start bringing out some cloud shapes with this brush in places so I can see cloud uh, now when you do this you try and be cloud <laughs> float around your painting I know uh, it's hard to enjoy yourself when you're getting stressed painting but I think when you paint loosely you don't get stressed anymore what, what I mean by loosely is um, you know when you're painting and your knuckles go white <laughs> that's, uh, that's a bad thing because that means you're holding your brush too tight stress is going into your grip and you don't want to do that you want to be nice and loose and allowing that paint to fall off into wherever you want it to be I'm changing strokes sometimes I'm rounded sometimes I'm I'm really um, sort of curvyish <laughs> Kurdish. That's the right. Yeah, that's right. It's the right uh, painting word. Kurdish. <laughs> it uh, means that you have a bit of a curve to your brushstroke. So I'm, uh, I've changed the sky a little bit, to be honest. Uh, splodge there. I don't want that in there. So I want to uh, kind of create that shape there. That's quite a shiny area. <laughs> oh yeah I can sort of see. Yeah that looks alright. I'm gonna uh, go for some line there. Some curves lines, some wiggles, some wiggles like that, wiggles. It's 
funny um, clouds though, you get so many different types, different shapes, shapes that go all over, it's interesting. So there, I'm just letting the paint just drag off there, It's quite a lot of paint on there, I'm just letting it drag. Okay, I think that's quite a uh, good sky, quite like that. So now I'm going to start looking at this area here and uh, what I've noticed is, well that's boring, <laughs> it's all the same isn't it? So I'm going to make a light colour, a light green colour, maybe with a little ochre in it. Make it okay, okay. <laughs> there we go. I'm gonna look at the reference and look at some of these. There's some sort of shapes in there that maybe I can put in, maybe just to give it a bit more of an interest. Still want it to be quite light. Yes, but I want it to be a bit more real. Oh, the, I think there's a bit more brown in that area there. Just sitting back, having a look. Okay, that's a few trees. I'm just gonna use a bit of sort of a bit of blue and a bit of green. Make a uh, darkish, a darkish colour. An indication of a few trees there. Coming down the hill. And there. One here. Yeah, so that gives that a bit more to it. Don't want to go overboard because that's quite a long way back. And over the other side, where I can't see because of the reflection. Oh, that's better. I'm putting indications of a few trees in there as well. Get a little bit of that brown, just to... A bit of light. There's actually a nice bit of good Bit of light green, I might be able to get it in it. Sort of goes behind here. In there as well. Yeah, that that's quite good. Quite happy with that, bit of yellow ochre now. I want to do this area. Put yellow ochre in it. Yeah, this area is too light now. So I need to darken it a bit. So I'll get a bit of the uh, bit of green and brown. Bit of white. Yeah, I think that's about right. So let's uh, do this and 
in that area. Bit of yellow ochre in it. Okay. And there's some little dark spots I want to paint in. Dark spots along. Probably not too, not as dark as that. But Okay, now there's a couple of trees. Get this small brush. I want some of that dark with the greens and the blue. So that's sap green, a little bit of iridium green, a little bit of ultramarine blue. Let's get my dark so I can put a couple of trees up here. One there. And one there. Now this side. The light is hitting this one side so I can make a decision now. Make a light yellowy colour, yellowy green, nice and warm. I want to allow it to just come down there. And it also kind of falls down here as well, along this path. Yeah, quite like that. Quite like that. Right, if I sit like this, I can block off the, uh, the reflection. <laughs> and I can see things better. It's interesting how the light sort of falls around. Let's get a bit more of that sap green in, into my yellow mixture. A bit more of the sap green. So I'm making a uh, a yellow mixture that's slightly duller than that one. And I notice that the sort of light almost going like this, and then this bit goes down, down like there. There's another bit that goes down there. there. Stays quite dark in that area. So, I just had a phone call, <laughs> but lucky for me, um, when I was sat back looking at the painting, when I was taking the call, I noticed that this area is just too light. It's too light. So I'm going to change it quickly. I'm going to go darker. See, you don't always notice when you're painting 
that your colours well they change when you're painting and you think you think you're doing right and uh, you realise you're not <laughs> it wants to be more darker this whole area I'm just grabbing some blue and some green and a bit of brown in it. It's actually the shapes that I can see. I think the break that I had has given me a better Better thought on what I'm doing. <laughs> I think I'm warmed up, maybe. Maybe I'm warmed up because I can see things so much clearer. Yeah, that definitely is better. And then with the same colour, with a bit more blue in it, we can develop this area. Yeah, I'm quite happy with that now. It was just a minor change, and I'm just going to grab a little bit of that dark again and just put in a few trees in here Marks again, a few marks along here again. This is all the way back there, so we're not going to worry too much about it. I think that'll do me. Yeah, that'll do me for that area. So we get some more of this. Some brown and yellow, just brown and yellow ochre. You got the shapes. It's quite nice, actually. I quite like that. So now I'm going to go into my green again. So we've got a bit of green that goes. Okay. The, uh, a bit more of the yellow. Let it mix away a little bit so it's not as bright as that. I want a bit more of the yellow ochre to change the flavour a bit there. There. Gonna go into just to show you. Gonna go into a bit of the viridian green and the yellow. Make a bit of a, a fresher green, fresher grass. Just have 
have a look at the uh, some lumps. a bit more of the yellowy colour. Okay, just lean back a little bit on the old chair and have a look at where we're at. sit back <laughs> almost wiping my brush clean as I sort of almost blend it into the dark just sitting back having a look And some uh, dark colour, some of that dark colour again, uh, some areas just want to push into that dark. back on my chair. What I could do with is the pathway. And there's also just picking up some yellow ochre and light. I'm gonna get this light here with the yellow ochre. And then on here as well. Right, with my uh, smaller brush, picking up some burnt sienna into that white, a bit of yellow ochre as well. So, a yellow ochre, a bit of burnt sienna, a bit more white. We'll put our path in. So there's a path that running da -da 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 -da, and then it comes over there. Like that. Just put in some green just to shape it. Some there's some yellow ochre parts in amongst here. Just make that a bit different. This area needs more it needs to go down and then round like that. It needs to kind of connect there. There's a uh, bit of a stronger green behind it, like that. Green going there and 
there as well. Okay, just sitting back having a look. <laughs> There's another path. Comes down here. Just put that one in. And grass it goes along. That, and then you can almost see a uh, dark line going along here. Okay, let's just have a look at that. I think we can go a bit lighter on some of these areas. different shades because you can see uh, different colors on on the grass there so we'll leave that as that I think move on to the next bit and uh, so we've got a lot of um, a bit more of the sort of yellow ochre and the burnt sienna More yellow ochre. I'll start putting in a few of these. Sometimes more the burnt sienna, sometimes a bit more the yellow ochre. More the yellow ochre there. And this kind of comes down like that. More of the uh, burnt sienna. Bit of sort of uh, soil showing there. sorts of uh, little shapes and things up here. I'm trying to use the brush strokes to uh, do most of it. Um, bit of yellow ochre and cad yellow into my yellow. Just making me a yellow. Using those and then we'll stop putting them in as well. Some areas is more rounded. And 
I need some darker colour, darker green. I'll just grab the old uh, blue and brown, blue and brown mix. Get some of these dark splodges in. And sort of we get like tufts, tufts of grass that are, you can only see when the light, the light's sort of going on one side mainly. Because the light's coming mainly like that, so. I mean this isn't the same as my reference picture of, sort of developed it myself to the way I want it but you can change yours up if you're doing a painting and you've got some reference photos you don't have to do it the same as the reference you can change it quite like those little uh, rounded shapes I'll load my brush up a bit Loading my brush and putting some paint on there. <laughs> nice area it's kind of flat along here so we use flat strokes Where it's flat, we we'll use flat strokes. Where it's curved, we used curved strokes. Okay. Just loading my brush. Get a bit more paint on there. Sitting back, having a look, seeing where I can improve things. Like maybe along there. Be improved there as well. I want a bit lighter colour to uh, separate this and this. There's some white in there. Okay, I just want to break this colour up because there's some of these in here as well. It's actually uh, a few daisies in there. Okay, I might get rid of them. 
think I'm about done. This is a uh, <laughs> this is a fun one. I enjoyed myself actually. It was a uh, hard to get off the ground, but once it got going, I'm enjoying it. Enjoy doing these. Get these brush strokes in. I enjoy doing that. Yeah, so let's just have a sit back, have a look at the whole painting. Yeah, I'm okay. I'm pretty happy with that. It does look quite distant and it's got a bit of interest. Um, I could probably keep going. <laughs> I know I could keep going and, and start bringing more shapes in. Or I could say, I'm happy, I've done a painting, I'm happy with it, I enjoyed it. Got this area there that just needs separating there. But I think I am finished with this one. So I'll put the brush down. <laughs> oh, it'd be good to have a bird in there though, wouldn't it? Hmm. So I'll put that brush down and I can see this area here needs some dark marks. There. Now I'll put the brush down. <laughs> yeah, let's put a bird in there. Why not? Would be nice to have a bird in there, in that sky. Just flying happily. There's one, there's another one there. An indication of three there. I'll do. So thanks very much for watching this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it gives you some ideas. And uh, as I look at it, I'll constantly see things that I think, oh, I could do this, I could do that. <laughs> but I need to keep myself reined in so I don't overwork and overdo. But I'm... I'm quite happy with that. I got to use some expressive brush strokes and do a fun landscape. So thanks very much for watching and I'll see you at another one. Cheers. Bye.